Watch out! Apollo Justice Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system due to it featuring mild blood, suggestive themes, and violent references? Whatever those are. Oh well, viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. Hey there, honey! And guess. Welcome back to Apollo Justice Ace Attorney, everybody. Can we just take a moment to appreciate the fact that, at this point, Phoenix Wright has been on trial four times! And out of all four of these times, the one that traumatized him the most was the one where he was accused of stealing lunch money. Not the ones where he's accused of murdering someone. I forgot about <laughs> that. <laughs> Anyhow, we're continuing with Turn Bad Trump. Yeah. This, this is the greatest first trial no. ever. No. No other first trial no. even comes close to Turn Bad Trump. Okay, I need to stop you with the Trump references. Anyhow, we're just getting into the good part. The first witness is coming out. The prosecution may yeah. call its first witness to the stand. But, um, but, um, ah? Who is this child that can't lift any plates? <laughs> okay. This is your voice in Okay. Sir. The witness will state her name and profession. H hold on just a moment. Wait, I just realized we should probably double check that we're recording everything okay. It's cool. going fine. All right. Hold on just a moment. Where's the witness? Are you blind? Are you blind? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the enemy. <laughs> I surmise that she has been frightened by the defense's demonic looking horns. So I use a little hair gel! Relax, people! <laughs> Have no fear. If any horns point in your direction, this court will cut them off. You... you sure? Oh, um, I I'll just say Russian know. accent. Oh, crap! I have to do a high-pitched Russian accent? I don't know how to do that. You don't have to necessarily do a high-pitched... You are sure? <laughs> <laughs> you... <laughs> I don't want to offend everyone. It's okay. You can offend people. <laughs> you are sure? I swear it on my gavel. Please come out. Nobody from Russia watches my YouTube videos. We don't know that! And they're not gonna start! <laughs> yeah. Isn't violence against hair a crime, your honor? Well, if you're sure it is okay... Ahem. <clears throat> no, the prosecution... What? Wh wait a minute! Would the prosecution care to explain this witness's... Um... Paraphernalia? Yeah, what is up with her? Uh, yes! She is a professional, your honor. These are merely the tools of her trade. And that would be... My name is Olga Ori. Ori? Ori? Ori. Ori. <laughs> Olga Orly. I am employed as a waitress in Borscht Bowl Club Restaurant. I can't speak Borscht Club R Bowl Club Restaurant. I don't know why. Then, okay. then why the camera? Of course, it is my pride to serve Borscht that is a naming restaurant. But I also perform, how is it said, other service. Oh, are you a prostitute? What? Why was that the first thing that came into your mind? I don't mind? know! She had a camera! <laughs> Murdy! I don't know! We can edit that out. <laughs> no, we're not editing that out. This but is rated T for T. I know, but the reason I said this is it's a club, and she's a pretty looking girl, and she's carrying all these things. And then I I thought, know! Prostitute! <laughs> I don't know! So, that was so if you go to a college life. campus and there's a pretty girl lugging a backpack with you, are no! you a No! What I'm no. saying is she's like bundled up, but then she's still got like all of the these trays and things. Oh, we are never know. we're not recovering from that. No, we aren't! No, we aren't. I'm sorry. I take it one of these other services is taking the customer's pictures not being a prostitute. Ta-da! Like for example, this one. I just realized her voice is basically a uh, Bebo. Hey, Fiend or MJ. or um, or the girl from uh, Candy from Gravity Falls. Do you remember um? Oh yeah, the girl with the forks. Yeah, you, you haven't seen it all yet. I've only seen her in one episode. She, is, she also seems kind of racially stereotypical. It is very important. Yeah. That that's the defendant. Indeed, on the night of the murder, man in white hat is the one who gone kaput. Indeed, that is the victim. I'm sure you're a very nice gal. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> order, order. This is quite a piece of evidence to casually drop into our laps. It is the same way as I drop cold bowls of borscht on laps of customers. Casually. Hmm. Then the court will casually accept this new evidence. Olga's photo added to the court record. Now, witness! Where were you at the time of the murder? Okay, hang on. How loud are you? You are peaking the mic every you single are time you do Payne's voice. Maybe tone the now, volume. Can you please tone just the, the volume? Murder. 
down for Where were you at the time of the murder? Thank you. I was in room. The hideout, we call it. Excuse me? The hideout? It also, is... Apollo's voice is changing eight times now. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry, people. Everybody's voices are changing. It's fine. It is the room where famous gangster bad... Bad guy? <laughs> it's pronounced bad G. It's French. It's bad guy. <laughs> where the famous gangster bad guy was arrested. Is room where murder took place. What? <laughs> Your look of utter surprise. It is lovely. I will post by courtroom door later for you. Da da da. Photos will be numbered and you will write down which ones you want copies okay. of. Just so you know, you know da is Russian for yes, right? Da da. Not, oh. not like ta da. It's like. Yeah, I was saying you were like ta da. It's like da da. Photos will be numbered. Like that. Photos will be numbered. So there were three people in the room at the time of the crime. The victim, Shady Smith, Mr. Wright, and the Olga Russian. Orly, our witness. And if Mr. Wright isn't the killer, that means... Very well, witness. You will testify to the court about that night's events. Cool! I, there's a female that I get to voice. This is that awesome. That fateful night. That night, customer asked me to deal cards for game. It was cold. Both players played with hats on, da. The victim, he plays whole time with his hand and lock, it, and lock it at his neck. Then last hand is done. But something terrible has happened. Uh, the man flew at the victim and strangled him to death. Hmm. Incidentally, who won the game? Isn't it obvious? The winner was the victim, Mr. Smith. Objection! That's ridiculous. Um, because, because Mr. Wright can't lose. Um, <laughs> Justice, maybe you can come up with a more legitimate objection? But he hadn't lost in seven years! Take it from me, kid! It happens! I didn't lose a case my first seven years as a prosecutor, either! Why do I not believe that? <laughs> uh, that but when, that makes more sense where it's like, well, he's been going for seven years, he's bound to win some, and then he just keeps losing over and over. <laughs> no! <laughs> Incidentally, I have some evidence here. Peppermints. These- Oh, they're the poker chips. They look like peppermints. <laughs> These are the poker chips that, as they lay, the very moment of the crime. The hand and chips on this side belong to defendant to Mr. Wright. Defendant I... to Mr. Wright! <laughs> Mr. White, we must stop Dr. <laughs> Dr. Wiley. <laughs> <laughs> Those on the far side belong to the victim, Sam. Sam? <laughs> Sam? His name wasn't Sam. <laughs> you know why I said that? Because one of my coworkers is named Sam Smith. Oh, That's oh, why. Okay. <laughs> that was she, the one to the victim, the, Sam she the Smith. One, she was the one that was um four seven or whatever. Oh like yeah. Short, yeah. Not vaping Veronica. Not vaping Veronica. <laughs> That's not her name. <laughs> That's not my name. Uh, Chips, you say? Da. I mean, yes. Imagine that poker is war. Your hand is your army, and the chips are the spoils. Uh, I know that. After all, in my youth, I was known as the poker head of courtroom number three. I think he means poker face. Hmm, looking at this picture, it does seem that most of the chips are on the victim's side of the table. I don't know how poker works. Are the bigger chips worth, worth more, or are the bigger chips like... That probably depends. Okay. Chip photo I, knew, to the I asked because I know That's a good question. casual poker. See, for when I've played casual poker with friends, all the chips are the same size. It's just different colored ones were different okay. amounts. So like the white ones were worth very little, and then like the black ones were really, really high amounts. See, I would want to play poker with actual chips. So like, like. ruffles are <laughs> the, worth the most. No, no crinkle no. cut kettle chips. Would be worth crinkle the most. cut kettle chips would be worth the most. Ruffles would be lower on the spectrum, but they would all be like. I'd say ruffles are worse than lays. Yeah, they are worse than Lay's. As they're, far as potato they're, they're chips very... go, Ruffles are kind of bottom of the barrel, they're... as far as the name brands go. Name brands, yeah. There's the one, they are the brand that, like, you go to a party, and you don't know the person very well, and you're like, oh, I wonder what chips they have, and they oh, have, like, Ruffles. barbecue chips, Ruffles, and, like, pork rinds. <laughs> and you're I like, brought pork rinds! You're rind. like, and I guess I'm going with Ruffles! <laughs> I, kind of, so can I say, would you agree with this, uh, regular original brand uh, potato chips. So yeah. not barbecue or any yeah, of that. Yeah. From worst to best. Ruffles, Lay's, Pringles, Kettle, Crinkle Cut Kettle. It depends on the day. Sometimes I might switch Lay's and Pringles. I okay, really that's fair. like Lay's. Lay's are delicious. The Pringles are also great. <laughs> the defense may cross-examine the witness if he's done talking about potato chips. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Your Honor. <laughs> that fateful night. 
Oh, Payne does look like a girl there. <laughs> that night, customer asked me to deal cards for game. Yeah, this is like <laughs> Asian accent, not Russian accent. This sounds you... like candy. <laughs> <laughs> you wasted your Russian accent for the two characters in Ghost Trip. <laughs> um, oh, Johnny. Oh, right, I guess that was less Russian. Here's to the like day of my lo lovely husband. Ding, ding. And then there's the other girl who's like, mm, the Russian. That is the Russian accent. Well, that's really like, like... You don't want Russian spy. You want, like, Russian peasant. It, it, her voice was more like, if Carmen San Diego had a slight accent, that would be how I it. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you were doing cards? Uh, do you do this often? All the time. Duh! I am doing this. I just... I think it sounds funnier if she's like, duh! Duh! <laughs> <laughs> if customer wishes that I serve anything, borscht, cards, more borscht, it is my work. It's good to hear of a place that hasn't forgotten the meaning of service. Welcome to Borsk Bull Club, where Borsk is as warm as a waitress is. Thank you for not handing out flyers during the cross-examination. <laughs> it was cold, both playing. Yeah, this is getting worse and worse and worse. It's fine. It's fine. Do you know how uh, racist some of my accents have been? Like, any time- I literally I... just said somebody was a prostitute. That's not <laughs> racist. No. Yeah, but still. <laughs> That's just rude. Yeah. <laughs> it's already April. How could it be cold? Have you ever been to Michigan, Apollo? It's cold <laughs> until, like, mid-May. Yeah, basically. Actually, even at the beginning of June, there was a couple colder days. Not like- Not like 30. Not but like-, like 40 It is borscht cold. It is borscht. <laughs> borscht cold. At Borscht Bull Club, we have pride on authentic Russian ru ru rustic, rustic Russian, Russian restaurant theme. <laughs> Russian rustic Russian theme. With Borscht. <laughs> With Borscht. Outside is the city in spring, but inside is always as cold as Mother Russia. No way am I going there. <laughs> when it comes to hot Borscht, cold is best seasoning, duh. Duh. <laughs> the victim he play whole time. You can. Unlock it. Sure. His locket? I believe it is good luck charm, da? He gripped it many times as he played that night. Yes. He must have felt it as though he might carry him to the moon and the stars. I wonder what's inside. Though if it were small enough to fit around his neck, it wouldn't Or wait, he lift. gave back the bottle. Never mind, it wouldn't be a bottle inside of a locket. Yeah! <laughs> Never mind. Oh wait, also, is this Phoenix Wright's? No, this is the victim's locket. Oh, nobody cares about him. Um, the defense would like a clarification. Is this a locket we're talking about? I mean, a pendant with a picture in it, right? Not a rocket? <laughs> of course! I knew that! It was probably a pendant shaped like a rocket. That's why she called it that. No, a locket's a locket! It doesn't matter what shape it- It's considered bad form to poke fun at the hard of hearing in our society. Hard of hearing or hard of understanding? So, what happened next? Then last hand is done, but something terrible had happened, duh! <laughs> <laughs> something terrible?! The defense will refrain from Nito's shouting. Er, sorry. I need to seriously reconsider this vocal training thing. <laughs> I just realized she's basically like the female version of the, the lovely, uh, not butler, um, the, the bellboy who's like constantly the holding boy. the tray. <laughs> kind of. Now then, Miss Orly, can you tell us something about what happened? Oh, I was so frightened. Duh, I trembled with fear. Duh. <laughs> duh. Well, well duh. duh. The man flew at victim and strangling him to death. But the defendant would never do such a thing! Eee! Well now, I can't say I've ever heard the defense try this tactic. If possible, please refrain from embarrassing me. Still, why would anyone do something like this over a game of poker? Perhaps it is because defendant had lost game? Yes! A crushing defeat for a man undefeated! So it always is with men like him. Winners make sore losers. Oh, how the mighty fall! Go ahead. I believe you know what it is you need to do. Right, sir. Leave it to me. There were only three people in the room at the time of the murder. The victim, Shady Smith, Mr. Wright, and... And if Mr. Wright isn't the killer... I've got you now, Orly! Oh, really? <laughs> that night customer asked to deal... Alright, so oh. do you see... Do you see the op... The contradiction? They played with hats. He played they played with, with hats. They played with locket. Last hand done. Terrible, duh. The duh. man flew victim and is strangling to death. Is it because he didn't die by strangling? Yep. Autopsy clearly says blunt uh, trauma Maybe to the head. Maybe she left before that. Oh, really? Strangled, you say? 
That's odd. Duh, normal customers only choke on borscht. No, I mean this report shows that the victim died of a blow to the head. Yeah! Miss Orly? Really now? Did you witness the crime? Yee! Good catch. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hmm. Looking at the picture, it doesn't seem like it, he was hit. He's still wearing his hat and everything. Yet it is a fact that he was hit, Your Honor. Ugh, that hurt. <laughs> Here is a photo we took of the victim with his hat off during the investigation. Well, that's quite shocking, isn't it? This head certainly was hit. Was it bloody? Crime photo to add to or the Or was he record. the avatar? Um, let's check. <coughs> um, he got hit there. And blood and, went backwards? And it dripped backwards. Okay, so yeah, he's not the Avatar. No, he's not He's not the Avatar, Marty. Um, it was just this checked. is a different universe. But I've seen it happen. The defendant, he lunged the victim his neck. Oh, really, Miss Orly? I think I've caught you in your own lie this time. <laughs> Justice, I admire your enthusiasm, but perhaps you ought to think this through once more. Wh what do you mean? I found a contradiction! There's one thing in her testimony that troubles me. Very well. It seems we should continue the cross-examination. There's such a thing as thinking too much. This horse is dead. Let's stop beating it. There's such a thing as thinking aloud too much, too. Alright, as to deal cards. Cold. Both players are playing with their hats on, duh. <laughs> he plays with the whole locket uh, with his hand on the locket the whole time. Blah, blah, blah. After defendant tried to strangle victim, he hit him with the bottle. But there wasn't any signs of being strangled, right? We'll see. You didn't say anything about hitting before! He's sorry! I must have been forgotten, forgetting this, duh! Witness, you will take greater care with your testimony. Oh, duh. Duh. I'm sorry, Your Honor. And that clears up the disconsistency with the autopsy. <laughs> <laughs> the defendant made to strangle his victim and then changed his mind. And chose a simpler, blunter means to do the job. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that sums it up nicely. <laughs> That's what his wife sounds like. <laughs> so he strangled him, then hit him? Something's fishy about all this. Go ahead. I believe you know what it is you need to do. Right, right, right. Oh, da, da, da. Okay, he played with hats on, he played it with his hand and the locket at his yeah. neck. Oh, wait, we can see if there's a locket around his neck. Let's take a good look at the crime. No, take a good look at the second crime photo. Yeah! There is no locket around his neck. Objection! Good catch. You're getting the hang of this real quick. Oh, yeah. You know, there was one curious part in her testimony, just like Mr. Gavin said. But... What does it mean? Mr. Justice, would you care to explain what it is you're thinking so intensely about? Recall the testimony, Your Honor. The victim played with his hand on Locket at his neck, I believe she said. I hope you aren't about to raise an objection to the witness's grammar. No, but look at this photograph. Do you see a Locket on the victim's neck? Well done, Justice. I'm impressed. I knew you'd be able to handle this. B but what does it mean? If we are to believe this witness's testimony as is, then the locket disappeared following the victim's death. Lockets don't just disappear, Your Honor. It's quite simple when you think about it. If the locket is gone, someone must have taken it off, no? Taken it off? Wait, you don't mean! The defendant wasn't strangling the victim at all. He was taking off his locket. Wouldn't that explain it? Ah. Yeah. Wood ah. D defendant what do you have to say to this? Say? Yes. I just noticed this, but... You have something hanging around your neck, don't you? Oh. You mean this? Yes, it's a locket. With a photograph inside. A photo of my daughter. When did he get C married? Come again?! <laughs> Mr. Wright, you have a daughter? We confirmed this at the time of the arrest! The picture in his locket is indeed Mr. Wright's daughter. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh man, we really needed a webcam for that. I had like a face cam. I had like a Donkey Kong like who? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like boy. type look. <laughs> so Mr. Wright has a locket too? 
Why don't I buy that? It's just a coincidence. Maybe, like, the gangster, like, kidnapped his daughter and he's like, well, now I gotta casually go into poker so I can get her back. I don't know. What? No, the gangster like, the, bad like, guy? The, the, the gangster bad guy. Uh, he was, like, Smith. hundreds of years ago. <laughs> Mr. Smith is not a gangster. He's the traveler. Oh, oh, never You're mind. You're confusing Shady Smith with bad guy, the gangster. <laughs> bad guy! <laughs> well, now, if the results of the poker game led to the murder, perhaps we should hear a bit more about the outcome of the game? No, I want to hear about his kid! What is up with this? Okay. Further testimony will not really be necessary. Instead, we should hear more about this. <laughs> <laughs> it's clearly that the defendant lost. Badly. Miss Orley? You will testify to the court about the game played between the victim and defendant. Duh. It could be... Now, uh -huh. everyone will be happy if this happened. It could be he married Maya, and Maya is the head of the Korean channeling technique, and as always, all of the men are, like, thrown out of the village. So, so he's like, guess I'll play so piano! Like, I'll play the piano and gamble! <laughs> you don't think he married Iris? If he did, I would also be happy with that. I just think, clearly, after all of that, I don't think he'd want to uh, marry the person marry who looks exactly who like his psychotic yeah, ex-girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> Probably not! <laughs> Probably not, but I would be okay with that, too. <laughs> Serious competition. The game began with 3,500 3, points in chips? Not 3,500 chips! Each chip could be worth, like, a thousand or a hundred. Is that how, much, how it works? Oh, yeah. I, Each chip okay. is worth, like, a I've lot like, of I've, never played poker. Points. <laughs> House chips come in two sizes, small and large. The one who was winning, Dodd, was the victim. For last hand, defendant played with all chips on table and loose. The moment loss was decided, defendant grabbed bottle from table and... Indeed, looking at this picture, it does seem to be a one-sided game. As the court knows, poker was the defendant's life! <laughs> I just kind of like that sentence. <laughs> the poker was the defendant's life! <laughs> Failure must have been a bitter pill to swallow. Ah, uh, how many times have I heard these words? i done it in a fit of anger, your honor, and now I regret what i done. A common tale, but true. Methinks the judge watches too many old court movies. Mr. Wright said he hasn't lost in seven years, so this testimony must be wrong. Maybe his daughter's like... How old would his daughter be? Is he is it like a baby? Or is it like seven years old? <laughs> and then he just immediately got married after the first or the third game. Yeah, I don't know. Like serious competition. The game began with 3,500 points in chips for each man. Are those the usual starting points? Were any special rules used? No, not special. Usual game, usual rules. If each man began with 3,500 points, then the total would be... Um... Exactly six, no, seven thousand points. Please, this isn't calculus. It's not even all division. <laughs> even he's like, I'm not judging. <laughs> House chips come in two size? 3,500. Anything times two is pretty. Yeah. Are the chips in this photo all the chips that were used? Duh. Duh, uh, of course. Something's fishy with these chips. Should I press harder? Fish and chips. <laughs> Go. <laughs> so if it's fish and chips, nah. It's her nature to be jumpy and suspicious looking. That's that's a terrible reasoning. Nah, she looks like a prostitute. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> I am never gonna live that no, down now. No, you're not. <laughs> Maybe you can explain a bit about these chips. I explain? What what is there to be explained? <laughs> <laughs> You haven't seen that before? <laughs> no, but I, it sounded funny with the hair flip. <laughs> poker <laughs> chips are poker chips. They're not fishing chips. Not a chip off the old block and not a motorcycle cop, not a- Thanks. <laughs> now that I've pressed her, I'd better ask something. What are these chips worth? Are, are they in dollars? Or rubles even? Yet, as I've been saying before, it was game not gambling. Hard perhaps for a capitalist to understand. <laughs> Two types of chips. 100 point chips and 1,000 point chips. It's not money, da. Justice. Sir! Don't you find her comment... interesting? In more ways than once, sir. I'd have it added to her testimony myself. <laughs> well, does the defense want the def witness to add to her testimony? When, I want to add... When this comes up, you never say no! Yes, I do believe this deserves further scrutiny. Add it to the testimony. I wish I knew where I was going with this. Very well. <laughs> 
Witness, if you would be so kind. D da, your honor. I will say, Apollo? Apollo comes into his own a lot faster than Phoenix does. Yeah, because Phoenix is like, crap! What crap, I, I forgot how the victim died! <laughs> <laughs> I know. Mia, help me. Whereas Apollo's like, okay, I'm a bit loud at times, but, you know. Mia, Mia comes back from the den and is like, oh my god. Phoenix, you were you so stupid. You were so stupid. Did you not play the other Did you games? not look at the back of the receipt? No. <laughs> I don't know how. <laughs> Emma Sky has to teach me that ability. Oh, man. Emma Sky. Chemistry. Yeah. What type of chip is worth 100 points? Mr. Gavin said this testimony is important. To be honest, I have no idea why. Mr. Justice, do the court a favor and think of what you want to say before raising your hand. We are not in kindergarten. Ah, sorry, I'm fine. I better think of something to ask. And quick. Um, the two types of chips. Da? Um, the small ones are 100 and the big ones are 1,000. Uh, right, right, of course. Ha! Don't waste our time. <sighs> Is that all? Um, yeah! Great, Mr. Gavin made me stop her and now I'm the one who looks dumb! Oh, uh, Justice? Please try not to embarrass me like that. Huh? Who? Me? There's a clear contradiction in the information you have in your hands. What? It's a simple matter of calculation. Go on, try it. Oh boy, math! We're not in kindergarten after all. Calculation? Oh yeah, let's just take a look at the picture. Let's do some math, Marty. I know it's your favorite subject. No, but that's fine. Okay. If you start with 3,500 points, and the small ones are 100, and the other ones are 1,000, for poker, One, do two, you, three, do four, you five, win six. poker chips from each other? Oh yeah. When you're playing? Okay, how so it just works count is... them up total. Okay. You so, start with so 3,500 six... in each person's hand? Yes, yeah, so there are, okay. and there are 7,000 totals. 1, totals. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ten big 10, chips 000. and then six little chips. That's so that'll be ten thousand six hundred if. That's too many. Yeah, so there's something up with that. One who's winning. Well, oh yeah, doing? yeah. <laughs> You're telling me that Mr. Wright, undefeated for seven whole years, was losing? <laughs> Duh. Duh. It must have been most unlucky day for him. I am glad I did not take another picture of him. It would break camera certainly. The chips, they were always to the victim's side of table. So you're telling us it was one-sided game? Duh, one side and... For last hand, defendant play with all chips on table and lose. Wish I knew poker. Last hand? Wish I knew it better. It was largest points of any hand. The defendant's hand, it was excellent. He tried to use to take victory from behind. It appears that both the defendant and the victim's hands are in this picture. I'm sure Russians actually have like more inflection in their voice than like that. But You're I'm not even it... doing a Russian accent. I know, right now, I but know. But it, it, it works for her. That is truly an excellent hand. However, so is the victim. I'm gonna be mad if she comes back like Maggie Bird in like five games. And then she's like, hey, what's up? I'm like, hey, no. y'all. <laughs> One with highest number wins, and so defendant loses. The, the uh, victim, Mr. Smith, had a stronger hand than the defendant and crushed him. I believe that explains what occurred next. Once cards laid down on table, it happened. The moment lost was decided, defendant grabbed bottle from table and- Yeah, this is literally like the Asian girl from Gravity Falls. I know, and I don't know how to break out of it, but it's fine. Uh, da. Russian, da. Russian accent. Da. But she has like a high-pitched voice in my brain, because she like, like looks young and cute. Da. Russian accent, da. yes. Russian. 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 No, that is not Russian. <laughs> that was like Russian Southern. And what happened next? <laughs> what happened next? <laughs> then to think of now, I shake and tremble. Ah, I do not believe such thing would happen. What such thing? Please, you must believe. I have no idea. How could such a thing occur? What such thing? Yet, 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 yet. The defendant had been hitting the, the victim! Da! I saw it all happen right before me. I saw Bottle come down on victim head. Decisive, isn't it, Your Honor? My witness saw the very moment of the crime, as you always say. Hmm. Remember, your first goal is to gather information. Yes, sir! Look for out contradiction, here comes justice! Ooh, da! Alright. So I it, already it... got it. 
I already got it. Objection! You're sure it was the victim who won? Absolutely sure. Objection! It seems our new attorney is a bit confused. A glance at the picture is enough to tell you who won if you're not in kindergarten. Um, just for safety's sake, could you explain the problem to the court? Of course, Your Honor. In this photo, I see small chips and I see large chips. Tell me, which were worth a thousand points? Why, the big ones, of course. Duh! Oh, I thought so too. But then the totals don't add up. The totals? Let's review what the witness told us. Each man started with 3,500 points in chips. This is getting better, Apollo, I think. Yeah, yeah. And the combined total value of the chips was 7,000 points. Yeah, you got it. Yes, if my calculations are correct. Let's see, 3 plus 1, carry the 5. Um, they are your honor. Now, look at this photo that allegedly shows all the chips. If the big wall chips are worth 1,000 points and the small chips are worth 100, and you add them up... How much is it? Do it yourself! You aren't in kindergarten, are you? <laughs> 10,600 points. The chips don't add up. <clears throat> this clearly contradicts the witness's testimony. Ooh. This is... Wait, this music. This is the truth music. This sounds game. pretty. It's very it's simple, definitely, very It's good. definitely updated. Oh, yeah. In sound. But, but, but why? How could this be? Exactly. Justice? Now that you know the what, you must determine the why. Right. There's only one possible way to explain this contradiction. Starting points were wrong, chip count was wrong, both were right. Um... Chip count would be stupid, so let's get rid of that one for sure. The odd thing here is the number of chips. Right, Mr. Gavin? Why are you asking me? Uh, just in case? <laughs> Justice, it's your case I'm worried, I'm concerned about. If you're wondering about the chips, just look at the photograph. It's all there. Even our judge with his failing eyesight could count them. That's not the only thing failing the judge. Let me ask you again. Right. There's only one possible way to explain this contradiction. Okay. Um, it could be that both were right, and so thus they started with way higher stakes, and then they were trying to gamble more. Or it could be that the starting points were wrong. How you... Either one could be right, now that I think about it. Starting points were wrong? I don't, I don't know. This calculation makes the answer clear. If the total combined points at the table was 10,600, then each man started the night with 5,300 points. 5,300? That's a rather half-baked score at which to start a game. Justice, would different starting points really change anything? Mm. Eh? It seems the defense's objection was even more half-baked than the score. Uh-oh! Time to head back into the kitchen! Right, there's only one possible way to explain this contradiction. Each man began the game with 3,500 points. If all the chips are indeed shown in this photograph, then there can only be one answer. Well, what is it? The value of the chips was the other way around. Oh, that's what they were trying to explain. Yeah, that's fine. What? Want to know what I think? The small chips were worth a thousand points, not the big ones. Madness! Other madness! Bigger is better! <laughs> How can you not understand this? Show me that photograph of the chips again. There are six small chips and ten large chips. Why, that does make 7,000 points when you add them up. Good God, wrong. Excellent work, Justice. Even though you failed twice. It's almost as though you figured it out by yourself. <gasps> what if she was... Oh, that would be funny if she was, like, the sassy one. I'd just be like, good Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> suck. <laughs> well, I'm just glad I was the one who said it. But wait! The value of the chips may be different, but that changes nothing! Indeed. The victim did have the larger number of chips still. Ah! Exactly! If the small chips are a thousand points and the large chips are a hundred, let's do a little math. Add up the points for each side of the table. Ah! Ah! The victim, Mr. Smith, had 2,900 points and the defendant had 4,100 points. Well now! It seems that Mr. Wright was winning that night after all. Th that's impossible! My client had even less reason to kill the victim. After all, he was winning! Yeah! Now, Miss Orley, you must have known the true value of the chips. 
since you were there at the scene of the crime, weren't you? Uh, yeah! Good thing I caught my borscht. Yeah! <laughs> order! Order! What is borscht? Well, like you asked that last episode. It's like cold forgot. lobster. Oh, <laughs> remember? Yeah, I think now that's I what do. it is. Anyways, otherwise we should look it up for later. I'll look it up right now. Okay. You know, just to answer. Cold oh. lobster sounds revolting. But well, well, hot lobster also doesn't sound particularly appetizing to me. Yeah, lobster. Lobster. What is? Makes me think of Arthur when yeah. they have the lobster at the restaurant. Okay, what the heck is borscht? Borscht soup. Borscht is sour soup common in Eastern Europe and North e Northern Asia. In English, the word borscht is most often associated with the soup's variant of Ukrainian origin. Oh, no, it's not lobster. It's made of beetroots as the main ingredient. Oh, beets! Ew! I hate beets. They're like purple and gross. Ugh. Is the soup like purple? It's like purplish red. Yeah. Ugh. Okay, it looks like she has a lobster yeah, in her thing, yeah. though, so that's kind of she... interesting. A lobster adds for extra flavor. <laughs> and excitement. It appears our defendant has lost his motive. And Mr. Wright's supposed defeat never happened. <laughs> we must now ask ourselves whether we can trust the witness's testimony. Uh, excuse me? Uh, what is it, Miss Orley? I, I did not want to be saying this, but actually, you see... Um, see what, Miss Orly? What do you see? In the last hand, there was cheat. A cheat? You, you don't mean a trick? Wait, or do you mean a scam? They're all the same thing! <laughs> yes, there was cheat in last hand. That's why game ended with chips as they are. Great, just great. We literally couldn't... First we have lying, now cheating. We literally just proved, though, with the two decks of cards that there couldn't have been cheating. Right. Well, this case certainly has taken a turn for the interesting. Witness, you will please testify to the court. Tell us about this cheating in the final hand. I wonder why Mr. Wright wanted us to be his attorney. Maybe he's like, I remember when I was at first starting out attorney, how tough it was. I just needed someone to believe in me. That's what I'm gonna do for this guy. I feel like he's lost the gusto, though. Phoenix? Yeah. He's like, hey, man. How I just... you been? <laughs> he's Hobo Phoenix. Hobo Phoenix. <laughs> the final hand. The last hand, both men had la full house. La full house. La bamba. <laughs> <laughs> There's four of each card in deck. Is there? From ace to king. Yeah, there are four of each type. It's like, go fish. You have to oh, yeah, four. yeah, yeah, okay. If you look at both men's hands, cheat is more obvious. Next moment, game began argument, duh. Then defendant's trick was exposed. He took bottle in hand and poor Mr. Smith. Uh, well, let's look at that picture. Miss Orly! Let me look at that picture. Okay, so in order to win, you need to have one of each type. No. No, you don't? The, the deck has four of each type of card in it. What That's do you what, what do you get to is. get a royal uh to get the the winning poker? You need a better hand than the other player. Okay, is it you want to have fewer points or more points? Okay, so basically each there are different hands that have different like point values. Okay. So the lowest is you got nothing. Yeah. Then there's one pair, then two pair, then three of a kind. Oh, so you want to get all of like kind of one card to That's part of it. There's also things like straight where you all um you have five cards that all have the same suit. Okay. Or that's a flush. I've heard flush, of, yeah, you have I've five heard of, of flush, the same and suit. I've heard of royal flush. Straight is where you have five cards that each increment in one. So you could have like two, three, four, five. Oh, uh, okay. Or two, three, four, five, okay. six. So you could this have guy... like you could have ten jack, queen, king, ace. Yeah. Stuff like that. So Phoenix and Wright's then, hand. Right he now, has... full house. Full house means you have a pair and then a free of a kind. Okay, so, so he has... So Phoenix has two aces, two aces, and then three sevens. Yeah. And then Smith has two aces and three kings. Would that be more? Two aces and three kings beats two aces and three Okay, that's uh, what sevens. I thought. Okay. Oh, okay. Back. Miss Orly, why did you not tell the court about this from the very beginning? I thought I smelled a cover up here. 
Well, folks, it's time to throw back the covers. Hmm. A full house is a very high-scoring hand. Not easy to make, in my experience. That alone is enough to suspect less than scrupulous tactics. Um, Mr. Gavin, what's a full house? Lawyers these days, you don't know your poker? I can't say this bodes well for your case or career. What is this, some kind of secret court poker ring? <laughs> <laughs> Justice... You know the terms one pair, two pair, and oh, three of a kind, sorry. yes? Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, no problem. Two cards of the same number makes a pair, and three makes a three of a kind. Good. Now picture a hand with one pair and one three of a kind. That's a full house. Hmm. That doesn't sound very easy to make, does it? You can see each player's hand in this photo. Wow. They both have full houses. We forgot that there is an easy way to make a full house and go undefeated for seven years. You cheat. Ahem, the defense may cross-examine the witness. If he did cheat the last hand, that still leaves one important question. Mr. Wright lost that hand. Who's ever heard of a professional con man losing when they cheat? Yeah. I mean, it's kind of true. It seems weird. Well, we'll have to do that and do the cross-examination in the next video, everybody. Okay. Trying to keep the episodes roughly around 30 to 40 That's minutes. That's fine. That's fine. Because a lot of people don't like hour long videos. Yeah. Anyhow, thanks for watching, everybody. Tune in next time. We're going to cross examine Miss Orly some more <laughs> and maybe learn more about poker in the process. Yeah, for me. I, I, <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to take up poker, but I guess I should know the rules. I mean, we, I, I, don't, to, I don't know what type of poker they're playing. I know or... how to play blackjack, which that... is not poker. <laughs> I see. I've played Texas Hold'em in Omaha, and that neither one of those are there playing. Yeah. Because both of those require cards in the middle that you share. Yeah, yeah. Anyhow, tune in next time. Until we meet again, my friends. Have a great day and God bless. I think I played Texas Hold'em once.